What's up everybody, I just got to the storage unit and the first thing I find when I open it up, there was a big coolant leak. I already got it all cleaned up, but you can see, there she is. I think it is gonna be coming from this radiator hose and then where it goes into the head. So, still gonna ride it. It's like 30 degrees outside, so I don't think there's gonna be any issue with it overheating. Check out that that clearance. Bit snug. Those are it's a 160 rear tire. I just need to get my plate mounted up real quick and we'll be on the way. That'll do for now. I'll probably end up mounting it back in the fender, but as you can see I need to go take it to the car wash, get it cleaned up. I was just going in here to um adjust the fuel screw a little bit because it's running a little weird and I saw it has one of those aftermarket ones. That's always nice to be able to adjust it on the fly and stuff like that. As you guys can see it also has the um, head work done by Voodoo which is a tuning company. That's why I wasn't getting too crazy. You could see it was spitting coolant all over the rear tire. My left foot is soaked. But that confirms. I can see where it's bubbling out of. So, right there. So, that's what I need to do now. So I just got everything off and there's our problem. Might as well try a good firm squeeze first. I think that was it. I think it was just loose. It felt to be pretty hand tight on there. I mean, it stopped the bubbling. I'll also have to fill it back up with coolant and take it out for another ride, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all the other ones while we're at it because maybe there's some other ones that aren't very tight hmm. I think that definitely was the issue most of these most of these are not on very tight and you can see it's just that's tightening it all right we're heading over to 
the Yamaha dealership. We're gonna go get coolant, and um, also the choke isn't wanting to stay out when I pull it, so we're gonna see if they have one of those. Got the engine ice. The Yamaha dealership actually was closed down. They um, consolidated into three stores out of their, or consolidated into one versus their three stores. So I ended up going to um, Ducati Performance in Boulder, and there were some super cool dudes there. We talked about um, soup motos and stuff. He had a KTM 350 in there, some sweet bikes, and just saw some pretty crazy Ducatis too. They were building race bikes, it looks like. But, um, so we got the engine ice. I didn't get the part for the carburetor because it wasn't a Yamaha dealership, so they did not have it, but I um, also ordered it online. I just got home, it's too dark to do anything to the bike now, so I guess we're just gonna have to wait till I get those parts. Like and subscribe like always, and new videos when it's above 40 degrees and I can ride.